I had this concept pretty early on that wrestling had to be like all tough and serious. Never a weak moment, stone cold, tough. That's a lot of stereotypes that you have to break free from. If I feel weak at moments, am I still a wrestler? Is that okay? Motherhood has given me the opportunity to completely rewrite all of it. Nothing. All right, let's do it. Joan, you finally got your toy. That's blue. I think my earliest memory of wrestling is going to the gym with my dad. My dad was very quiet about that fact that he went to the Olympics and that he's a two-time Olympian and then 1980 Olympic coach. He kind of just like proved over and over that it wasn't really about that. It's always been about like his coaching impact. Hey, Olga, coach. My father was a pioneer for women in wrestling. He truly like believed in every single one of these women. Yeah, okay. Smile for the camera. One day in practice stands out so strongly in my mind. Come on over here, let's talk. Come on over the corner. My dad talked about how Winston Churchill said, like, never give up. And then he repeated it over and over. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. In high school, I was often told, you don't look like a wrestler. I definitely fell into that trap, comparing myself to the male version of wrestling, an obsession with who's the toughest all the time. More of the same, more of the same, let's go. That's it, yes. But when I was in college, that got me to a very successful place. And our champion, Catherine Fulton. So it's, it's a lot of pride built in that. Once I graduated from college, I was trying to hone in getting ready for the 2016 Olympic Trials Tournament. So 2016 Olympic Trials, I felt like I wrestled like I'd never wrestled before. I lost in semifinals to Helen Marulis. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's devastating. It takes a lot of years to heal from it, so you're just like, <laughs> uh. Yeah, it takes a lot of time to heal from it. Hey, Eli. Let's go check on the pepper friend. After 2016 Olympic trials, it felt like I was ready to at least have time away from the sport. Okay, that worked actually. Look at this guy. Look how cute he is. I think motherhood for me actually plays right into what I've always been wanting to experience. Whoa. Not just the tough sides. Whoa, <laughs> good job. But the side of me that is very nurturing and caring and creative. Got it. Good job. <laughs> you have to dance between the two of toughness and gentleness pretty fluidly. Eli, we need the bananas for the pancakes. You have to smush, you, I need you to smush two bananas. Like this? No, in the bowl. Can you hold your horse? Eli, I can't even see you. Like this, turn it in your hand, and then smush. Yeah. Smush. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. You're just gonna smush it with your hands? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Motherhood has given me the opportunity to experience what balance between the two sides of myself, the toughness and the gentleness, actually looks like. And now actually put that into play on the wrestling mat. Hi. How's it going? I'm good, how are you? Good. I wanted to come back to the sport, we'll pull down more, but redefine what wrestling really was for me. That was better. Let's yeah. do that a few more times. I think wrestling is a dance. Go, 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 go. There you go, see that? Good, do that again. It's finding the joy in the sport, the fun in the movement, 
the creativity in the movement. I love that sport is redefined in my eyes and I love that I can start giving that to other people. That wrestling can look different than we think it is, both on and off the mat. I think because of my husband's support and having a conversation of what that could actually look like, that gave me the freedom to move forward. It was a huge challenge. I didn't even know if I could be competitive again, but it's possible. Move up to 53 kilos, Catherine Shy in the red. Catherine is a veteran in every sense of the word. I think that my dad would just be smiling and happy to see that I didn't give up. The fact that Catherine is balancing motherhood really is inspiring so many, including myself. It's not until now that I'm like just starting to understand. 5-0, Catherine Shy is your winner. Now in my 30s, I'm like, oh, I'm starting to get it. Like what it means to never give up. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Champion. <laughs>